Good morning, my beautiful followers. How is everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having an amazing day. So, uh, gonna be a short Addison Unleashed as I have to go see some of my amazing clients that I absolutely adore. But yesterday, I did not live stream. I did not do an article. I was in a horrible mood. I was in a horrible mood. And I promise you, this will come into play in my conversation today. I was in a horrible mood. I was super not living my best self yesterday. Uh, I know some of it was I was hormonally uh, engaged, but the fact is, like, I woke up and I was just not in a great space. I was really just in in the funk of things, and I was in this horrible mood, and um, I was just really in the feels. I was really in the feels, and a friend had had messaged me and I'm like, yeah, I would actually love to, I had a bunch of things going on yesterday, but I was like, I would love to get together and just have a cup of coffee after, um, after my day. That would be really nice to just sit, to just sit. And then, um, as I sat with, with this friend and I just kind of shared some of what was going on, my feelings and really just, she held space for me. And it was a beautiful moment where she just held space for me. That's really all I needed in that moment was to hold space because then I worked myself out of it because I know what to do to work myself out of out of a mood. I know that if I try to push against it, oftentimes I actually just cause a worse mood. I cause a worse mood and sometimes you just need somebody to hold space. You just need somebody to be there. And I was thinking about relationships and I was thinking about even coaching. And there was a lot of times in our current world, we have this masculine energy focus about feelings. There is this desire to push through. Because yesterday, somebody else in my world said, sounds like you're having a pity party. I'm like, damn, right, I'm not having a pity party. I'm having a moment. I'm having some feelings. And they're coming up. And I'm acknowledging those feelings. I'm acknowledging what's coming through. Again, a lot of it was hormonally induced. But still, and I knew that. And I was like, I just need to breathe through this. I need to let myself cry. I need to let myself get angry. And I was thinking about coaching and I was thinking about um, friends and, and my relationships with, with people in my life. And right now we have this masculine focus of fix it. If you're in a negative mood, if you have any negative vibration come up, you have to fix it. Fix it now. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. And we end up throwing a lot of spiritual jargon at people of like, get in alignment and you need to raise your vibration. And like, we almost start manically trying to fix the problem instead of just sitting with it, being in that feminine energy of sitting with it. And we can't, a lot of people, as I, I coach my couples and even my singles that are in relationships, we struggle as a society right now to just sit with people in their feelings, in their feelings. Now, there's a difference between somebody in your life that is just like always in the negative and they're not moving through it. They're not processing through it. And we all process through emotions differently. Some of us go very internal. Some of us go internal and then we need to verbalize it. Some people are external processors and that they need to talk it out or write it out. So knowing who you're dealing with is really important in this, um, to know kind of what kind of processor they are in terms of their feelings and emotions. Uh, but we struggle to sit with somebody who is crying, who is angry, who is depressed. And a lot of that is actually our own wounding. We feel like it's not okay. And so we try to fix the situation instead of just like being with somebody. Again, we're not talking about somebody who is constantly in the negatives. If you have people in your life, then you, I hope that you've chosen them wisely. I'm hoping you chose them wisely. And letting them kind of process and do their own thing in, in terms of stepping up um, with their own emotions and moving through things. But sometimes... Um, in this hyper-independent world, we think we have to do it all ourselves, but there is a great gift in allowing somebody else to hold space for us. There is a great gift in sharing our, our vulnerability of our emotions, because if you cannot hold somebody in their darkness, you cannot hold them in their light either. 
So if somebody, so sitting with somebody and breathing yourself into somebody having great big emotions is so gro is so growth oriented for that other person. It is so growth oriented to sit and watch somebody process through without trying to fix them, without trying to go, oh, well, you just need to listen to this, you know, these binaural beats, or you just need to go meditate, or you need to do this, and, and stop giving advice to just sit with somebody in whatever energy they're at. It really brings us to our presence level. When we, are, we start to try to fix people, what ends up happening is we oftentimes lose our presence level. Instead of sitting with somebody and really feeling where they're at. That's not saying that you have to jump into their pool of negativity that's going, I'm here and I can hold space for you for a moment. Uh, and then also knowing when you can't hold space. This particular friend I said, hey, if you're not there, like, please let me know. Like, if you're not there to hold space for me today in this mood and this energy of like emotion, please let me know. So I got consent before I, before I did that. But it is a lost art to hold space for our emotions ourselves. And so this really will uh, spiral out into our relationships of all kinds, where we're not able to hold space for somebody else. We want to take it on, we want to put it on our own shoulders, or we want to run away from it. And so the healthy thing to do is to really learn how to hold space for somebody without giving that advice to really let somebody know, I'm here, I'm he listening, you know, I do care. Because when we, when we do those things, we really do create a trust in a relationship. And we're not talking about those energy vampires that are always sucking neg negative energy. They're always in a negative space, they're always having problems, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the people in our lives that are really just having a moment. And allowing people to have a moment. Again, we live in a very spiritually, like everyone's, everyone wants to, to push through their vibration. The fact is, oh, you have to go through the stages. And each person is going to progress through that differently. So if you're in a relationship and your woman or your man is having a moment to just sit there and try not to give advice. Try to just sit with them in the stir of the feelings and then check yourself of why am I so uncomfortable sitting with somebody else's emotions I want you to really test yourself can you really sit in it and feel it and not fix it and not try to jump in and fix it and also maintain your own energy which is the key like you have to maintain your own energy you have to almost like bubble your own energy so you can hold that space. This isn't, again, jumping into the, the cesspool of negative emotions with somebody. It's just standing there and going, I'm here, I'm, I'm supporting you. Because then, when they're in an amazing mood or when you're in an amazing mood, then you guys can hold that together too because that is its own level of holding. When we're in the feels in a positive way, oftentimes that's, that's a shaky vibration as well. And so if you learn to hold space in the difficult times, you will also expand your ability to hold space in those really amazing, exciting times in other people's lives. And in doing that, we also give ourselves the opportunity to hold space for self. We get to acknowledge our own feelings. We get to acknowledge our own emotions and really sit with ourselves. Uh, because I do believe that we we have lost the art of sitting with our emotions. We want to kind of bypass all emotions, except if they're like high vibe or, or really exciting. But the fact is we're human and we need the contrast, as Abraham Hicks would say, we need that contrast. We need to recognize those contrast moments because we don't feel this, we don't feel this as well, This this high vibe. Um, we have to learn to expand both ends of the spectrum. And so, if you're in a bad mood today, if you have a low vibe, if somebody comes to you and is having a struggle, instead of judging it, instead of trying to fix it and push through it and actually like war against it, which we know doesn't work, try to just sit with it. Try to sit with the other person's emotions, your emotions, and see where the ego wants to jump in there, wants to 
not just fix, but also wants to kind of retract. So see where, the, where your reactions come up in that. And if it's just with yourself, try to have a little compassion to sit with self and go, breathe through that emotion, feel it, feel it. Uh, and maybe let somebody else support you in it because you're not alone. And, you know, we all need a little bit of support in this independent world of do it yourself. Guess what? We all need people in our lives. So, so yeah. So go out and feel the feels. Go out and feel the feels today, guys. So, um, on another note, I still have a couple spaces in my wildly orgasmic woman program coming up next Friday. We start, we launch. So get your butts in there, ladies. It's going to be a four week amazing program. I'm so excited about this. I already have some, some really beautiful women engaging in this program, doing the pre work. So, so get in there before the doors close next Wednesday. Other than that, it, I am starting to o reopen um, my one-on-one -on -one client for June. So if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether that's online or in person, then head over to addisonbell.net and you can fill out my application to work with me um, with a start date of June. So head over there. Other than that, just go have an amazing rest of your day and make sure to grab that fire within. The whole spectrum of the fire. Go grab that fire with and I'll see you beautiful people tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. Love you guys. Bye.